Welcome to a quick setup video for GeForce Now on iPhone or iOS. So you can finally play GeForce Now on your iPad or your iPhone. Open Safari and go to play.geforcenow.com and you'll get the little steps that come up. You want to tap the share button on your toolbar down there and then step two you want to add to home screen and then step three you'll be able to just launch GeForce Now from your home screen and get logged in. So you click your menu down here, go down to add to home screen. It'll automatically make that little shortcut for you. You just click the add and then you'll be able to go back to your iPhone's home screen or your iPad's home screen and click GeForce Now. Now that'll bring you right into the GeForce Now app through the browser and you'll need to click your little account icon at the top right. Once you click on that, I'm already logged in, but when you click on it, it'll take you to another web page to get logged into your GeForce Now account. Once you're done there, it'll bring you right back here where you can check out your library of games and get into your settings. The settings are very similar to what's over on PC. You still have your Steam link right here that you can resync at any time. You've got your server location, auto or choose which server. We've got our activate code area over here and still have our network status. We can turn that on or off. As far as streaming quality, you can see balanced right here. That'll give you a 1080 60 with auto on the bit rate. And you can also change this over to custom and you'll be able to make some changes there. So you can change what your minimum bit rate is going to be right there. You can change your resolution. If you're having issues with games getting cut off or you're on something that needs to be different there and 60 frames per second is the only option. I'm going to stay with balanced for right now and see how things want to work out with that. This has been playing really great today. I've used it a good bit before making this video and haven't run into any problems other than not being able to get rid of the white line, the white bar at the bottom there. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, my friend who's using this, no problems, no white bar stuck there from the iPhone. Uh, but for me, it's stuck there. So you do want a gamepad to play the games and no keyboard or mouse support uh, or supported games right now. So loading into Valhalla, you'll notice this looks very similar to PC also, if you're familiar with that. We'll get our little loading screen right here. The only difference is we'll get a little pop-up that says your rig is ready. So you just need to click continue and then it'll load you into the game. So I'll skip past the loading and get us right into the main menu. Like I said, that bar for me is stuck. I've reset the phone, I've redone all the setup. I've tried everything I can think of. And for me, that doesn't want to go away, but we are in beta. And other than that, the experience has been working really, really well here. So I'm going to launch into some Valhalla and we can see how the game's doing. Now, I forgot to change the settings down to high when I did this. They're still on very high from some testing I was doing. And I really recommend on GeForce Now, you pretty much go with a high setting for this game if you want to get the 60 FPS in game and uh, just have a smoother experience. I am able to run it on very high, uh, but I would recommend knocking it down one for just a little bit, a little bit better experience and less kind of stutters here and there while you're playing. I fast traveled over to the dock. We're gonna jump out on the boat and uh, go to a raid. I'm gonna let you just kind of check out a really quick raid on the iPhone, see how it looks to you and uh, how smooth it is. And it really went well. I haven't had any issues with disconnects or anything strange happening yet anyway. Just that white line that won't leave at the bottom of the screen from the iPhone that pops up when you go to swipe on an app. All right, so we'll get loaded into the boat here. Usually you'll have a frame drop when you get out into the water or experience some stutters, but it goes away pretty quickly. So check out this raid, guys, and then I'll jump back in with you.
back to the ship. Alright, so that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Assassin's Creed Valhalla running on GeForce now on the iPhone 12 Pro through Safari. These So far, like I said today, the experience has been pretty good. I haven't had any major issues. Uh, hopefully we can work out whatever the deal is with the uh, white line being stuck at the bottom. But other than that, everything's been really good. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Bring that notification bell, all that kind of stuff. It really goes a long ways to help the channel, and I really appreciate it. Thanks again for coming to check it out. It out and I'll see you guys in the next one.